Welcome to another blog handy tutorial on how to add a beautiful looking and an SEO optimized blog to your existing website. Today we're looking at Framer, a no code tool to create websites and how to add a blog to your Framer site. While Framer comes with its own CMS system, if you don't want to share access to your Framer account and if you want to have a more advanced editor with SEO optimization and SEO analyzers, we recommend to use Block Handy instead of the native CMS feature of Framer. So let's go right into it. I'm in my Framer account and let's first create a new page. Click on the plus sign and let's call this page. Under the page settings, we call it block and the URL is slash block. All right, let's save it and let's now go back. Okay, so this is our new empty page and let me just add a few quick things here. So the navigation, we could add our navigation here and we will also add our footer here. Okay, now we have a header and a footer and now what we want to do is we actually need to add a section just a simple section we can add and let me change the order here we want the footer at the bottom the section at the top and now what we need to do is we simply delete whatever you see here in the section we can say here block loading okay so now it's the next step. We want to add an iframe or HTML embed. So let's go to the plus and let's go all the way down to utility and embed and just drag and drop that here. You can make it smaller. It's not really important and double click on it. And here on the right hand side, you should see the embed and change it from URL to HTML. Now go to your Block Handy account and copy the first code snippet with the JavaScript part of your code and paste it here. Now we could also copy and paste the second part of our code, which is this code. But then we have some issues that depending on your framer layout, it might not fully load your block, maybe some bits and pieces are cut off. So let's just copy paste the ID bit, which is bh posts, and then go back to Framer. And now our block loading element, that section is very important. Let's just click on it. And on the right hand side, let's go down and search for the scroll section. And here as a name, just paste the BH posts. Perfect. Now let's publish, update, and let's have a quick look. Perfect, but as you can see, there's still something cut off here. So let's go back to Framer. Make sure to have the block loading bit selected, and then let's Go down, overflow, scroll. This is very important. And now after you selected the overflow scroll, go up again and here under layout, change from stack to grid. Change the columns to one. Keep the rows as three, that's completely fine. Just make sure that the type is a grid, the columns is one and that's the most important. Now click on publish and on update and let's view it once more and there you have it. The block is loading. Let's click on a blog post and it's loading. As a final step, just copy the link of your blog page in Framer, go to blog handy, click on settings and under block URL, just paste the link and save all changes. 
On that page you can change as well a few other settings and the wording of your blog and under layout and design you can change the design of your blog. We've got a number of different beautifully designed templates, for example PopGrid. You just click on the switch and it automatically will change on your blog. Let me go back here and refresh and as you can see here a different blog design is loading. Thanks a lot for listening. If you've got any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Happy blogging. Bye bye.